Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on rounding a whole number to a given number of significant figures. Now we explored in the previous video why we might want significant figures. Let's just say, for example, you had uh, 32,757 people in a football stadium. If you were describing that in a newspaper article, you wouldn't say there's 32,757. You'd probably round it to some suitable degree of accuracy. So, for example, you might round to the nearest thousand and say, well, there's 33,000 people in the stadium. It's just a kind of simpler number, but still is roughly equal to what the original number was. Now, what I've done in this particular case is I've just kept the first two digits of the number. And that, that digit change, the two changed to three, but I've only kept two of the digits and the rest of the digits have been wiped out, replacing them with zero. So in fact, what I just did is I rounded this number, we say, to two significant figures. So significant figures is the number of digits we're keeping at the start of the number and replacing the rest with zeros. The reason we need the zeros is because if we didn't have them, we would just have 33. And 33 is clearly nowhere near 32,757. So we haven't rounded the number. So let's do that with these two examples and hopefully it will become clearer. We want to round 4,273 to one significant figure. So what we do is we say, well, if we want one significant figure, we're just going to keep one digit at the start of the number. So we're going to keep one digit at the start of the number. And all the other digits are going to be wiped out to zero. Now, just like when we're rounding, we do need to check the next digit. So is the next digit five or above? If yes, this number would go up by one. If no, the four stays as it is. So this clearly isn't five or above, so the four is going to stay as it is, but the rest of the digits get wiped out and we replace them with zero. As I said before, we need the zeros because otherwise that four digit wouldn't be the thousands digit anymore. So what we've actually done here is we've rounded it to the nearest of thousand. So in this particular case, when we rounded to one significant figure, we happen to round to the nearest thousand, but that depends on the size of the number. What about the next one? We want to round 278841, so 278,841, to three significant figures. So we're going to keep one, two, three digits at the start of the number, and the rest are going to be wiped out to zero. So again, we check the digit after the last digit we want to keep. Is that five or above? It is in this case, so that eight is going to round up to nine, and we've still got the two and the seven on the front. And as before, because we want to keep this as the thousands digit, we're going to have to put zeros for the remaining numbers. So this number has rounded to 279,000, and we can see it's three significant figures. We've kept three non-zero digits at the start of the number.